On behalf of Expert Village, I'm Terry, and I'm here today to show you the workings of a forge. When working with a forge, you always want to take precautions. Before you ignite it, you want to make sure that you don't have any leaks in your hoses, no cracks in your hoses, your valves are working properly. And w once it's ignited and lit, well, then, you have a, then you have the heat and the burn factor. You want to always use tongs to hold your material, and you want to use gloves. The best gloves to use are Teflon coated gloves. What I have here are just plain old welding gloves. They'll work, but you really want to get some Teflon coated gloves because you can hold on to the material a lot longer. Um, handling these rods will soon get hot with welding gloves on to where, to where you can't hold them so you have your tongs. You really want to have an apron, a, a heavy leather apron. Um, you know, you make one mistake, you drop, you, you fall, you stumble whatever you drop something on you it's gonna it's gonna burn right through your clothes immediately because remember it's 3,000 degrees and so you know what I'm wearing here is some thick cowhide you can see it's gotten hot before and all it did was curl up so as far as safety um, you want to keep a bucket of water around you also just in case there's a fire that starts you know you may not notice it right away even a fire extinguisher would help but I keep a bucket around so I can cool a piece of metal off if it, you know, if I, if I if I need to throw it down, I don't throw it on something. I can at least throw it in the bucket, and uh, you know, ex extinguish uh, the heat that's on the rod so that it doesn't catch anything else on fire. But it's always good to have plenty of water, maybe even a water hose. But I find a bucket and a fire extinguisher is, is adequate for what I do here. I I wear I wear steel toed boots simply because I don't like hammers and things falling on my on my boots. That's a the, that's a that's a good thing to do is protect your toes. You know, there's a lot of um, a lot of dangers you don't see around as long as you're well protected. Uh, safety glasses is a good idea. Usually, you don't get a lot of pop and crackle off the metal, but you know, if you have this um, you have this this shell that that pops off the metal as you're working it, and you can't get a piece in your eye. So, so a pair of safety glasses is a good idea. Some people even wear a shield, and that's just to shield your face from the heat. But if you're working in front of a, for a larger forge than this, and you're working around it all day, it'll be just like a sunburn. You can't blister your face. So I, I would recommend a shield, gloves, safety shoes, and a leather apron.